I got a call from Kapchora district. There was a mudslide that came in the night and it covered um, and it covered and killed people in, in Kapchora. So this morning I left at by, by eight o'clock in the morning I was in Kapchora and I managed to, to get to the site. I also passed my condolence message from His Excellency and also from the government of Uganda to these people. Then we went to the district uh, to talk to the leadership the way I'm doing it here in Bududa to ensure that people are vacated for now to the nearby uh, uh, sites where we can be able like schools and churches for now because these rains are coming. The mud is going to continue coming in these other few days up to when the rains will stop. I also went to the lowland. I uh, went to a bit of uh, the border of Bukedia. There is a school that has been that has had issues with the flooding sinking. And uh, as a ministry, of course, we shall take there uh, some food items, but also also promise to give the school some iron sheets just to be able to raise up the building. And then after that, of course, yesterday in the night, I got another call from the member of parliament, Honorable uh, Nangoze Florence, the woman member of parliament for Sironko. So on my way, I had to pass by to go and see again another mudslide that happened last night uh, in, in Sironko district. Since my aim was to go to Kapchora and come to Bududa, but I had to go to all those other sports to do sport checking, and now I'm right now, right now we are in Bududa. So the campaign I'm doing right now is like to ensure that the leaders are involved in the in, in the mobilisation of people who are right now in the hot spots. First of all, we need food immediately, food and non-food items in Bududa. As the minister advocates for people to leave the mountainous places and settle in the lowlands for a while. There is need for food and non-food items. We need tents, okay? We need blankets, such that people can leave their homes and settle in these places. But as we do that, for me as a woman MP for Buddha, we are not going to do that forever. And we are pushing government to urbanize Buddha district. And actually the whole of Bugiso, such that we can move people from the dangerous places up uplands and we move them to lower places and we urbanize the place such that we are able to go back and restore the environment in the uplands. What are we going to do? We are going to plant trees, not only trees for timber, but also we are going to plant uh, cash crops like macadamia. We are going to introduce macadamia and cocoa because cocoa does well with, with coffee, Arabica coffee within the mountains. Like it's doing in Bundibujo. The people of Bundibujo are getting a lot of money. So we are going to promote all these crops to ensure that they, they provide food for the people, but also strengthen the soil, prevent the soil erosion that has been happening.